Well, I'm delighted to be with David Gold, who is the Nationwide Mutual Respect Award winner for July 2021. David, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers. What does it mean to pick up an award like this? Well, I'm, I'm flattered, but to be honest, um, it's not something I've, I've really considered. So, um, no, I think um, I owe it to, to my team as well. Um, it's not just myself, it's, it's a joint thing. Um, and no, it's, it's something that it's, it's a given for us to, to, to work the way we do. So uh, to, be, to be awarded for it is, is, is certainly something, it's a nice touch. And of course, you have a high-profile footballing career yourself. You played for our growth in the Scottish Football League. Um, the work that you do with young people and in the community, do the club encourage you to do that as well? Absolutely. Um, the, club are, the club are a fantastic club, full of great people. So um, I, they, are, they are well and truly on board. They've got, they've got a lot of people doing a lot of good things in the community up there as well. So... Um, I, I try and get involved. I try and get involved there wherever I can as well. Um, but they've got they've got great people up there um, doing fantastic things. David, the nomination which came in from your community talked about the training camps and coaching sessions that you hold for young local players. But the thing which impressed the judges greatly was the work that you do within. Uh, young people that come from challenging backgrounds, perhaps they've spent time in detention centres and yep. you do that on a weekly basis and it gives the young people something to look forward to. Can you just explain a little bit of that work? Yeah, of course. Uh, it's it's uh, something we'd, we had got into maybe about three, four years ago. Um, someone within the units um, knew, knew who I was and had got in touch and says, look, I think you'd be great for this line of work. Is there something you can do? And and so we got involved through that way. We started off on a Friday morning. Obviously, then the COVID hit and the lockdown, the lockdown happened. It was a tough time for everyone, um, especially for, for these kids. Um, so I had to think about what we could go and do. And we've got a programme uh, at Golden Grey that we deliver within the schools uh, in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Uh, and it's... it's aimed at sort of developing confidence and boosting self-esteem and um, just giving them a laugh and try to help change that mindset into a more positive mindset. Um, whilst using football as a stimulus, so helping them get fit as well uh, and obviously get better at football, um, which isn't too important for us. So we did that over the we did that over the lockdown. We were in there seven days a week. Some of my staff were in there for 12 hours at a time. Um, working with, with these kids and it's been it's been great to watch watch the kids grow um, daily uh, from the wee challenges they set themselves and um, we do wee fitness tests and stuff like that within the programme for them and then obviously they've got to go and speak to, to a group take a session um, and it gets to a point where where we help them after it would usually be a 14 week block um, to, to come in and take a session and so when we get them along to, to our summer camps um, if you like our mainstream summer camps um, and they're coming along to volunteer as a helper and they're getting qualifications at the same time um, no it's, it's really good it's, it's something that we're definitely proud of David can I just ask you the work that you've done with young people through the power of football and injecting mutual respect into those environments. Just give us an example, if you can, of maybe a young person's life that has been changed through the positive role that football leadership and mutual respect can, can bring about. Well, I think all those skills there you're saying um, are, are great, but... Uh, I think football brings a lot more than that as well. It's, football brings a lot of like the socialising aspects as well, so friendships and that that come with it. Um, and so I've seen I've seen kids who are maybe not in a not in a great place, all of a sudden um, find their their escape or their their worth through football, um, and go on to to then nail down a job full time and um, go and sort of have a, a nice healthy family and, and pursue a career for themselves. So um, 
that's the sort of things that we we look to go and do. Just help help whatever we can and and give people the best chances and opportunities. David, just finally, because I know you've probably got to get back to training with our growth and obviously helping the young people in your community as well. But can I just ask you finally, um, when you are talking to young people who have perhaps come from um, challenging backgrounds, uh, less privileged backgrounds, how important is it the message for respect and mutual respect to their opponents, to their teammates, to officials, to coaches, and to leaders. Is that so? Is that a central message and tenor of what you guys do? Yeah, definitely. Um, because what we say to them is, um, it's, it's, it's the same everywhere you go. Is people younger than them, without them even knowing it, will actually look up to them. So the way they act um, is, will be followed on by the younger generation as well. So if they're going to have that mutual respect for each other and younger kids have seen that, it can only bode well for the future. Um, and it comes back to that, treat people the way you want to be treated. If you want to be treated with respect, then, then you've got to treat people with respect.